Hello guys and welcome back. You know we are doing this thing with the team guides. We give you team guides. This way, this time again, we are not starting from the start of the season. We are taking it at the end of the season. So you can see how things worked out. I cannot do this all the time because then I have to play a game with all teams. You know we have a series here with the championship that we will give you a team guide. But I will give you a team guide. But you know I cannot play with all the championships. So this is two different things. That team guide. We go through the teams that inspire you to play that game. Now we can see how the thing worked out. It's Real Madrid and we want 100 points, okay? <laughs> we have won the series, guys. The thing here was, I didn't came, come here to play with Real Madrid. I love Real Madrid. I'm a Real Madrid favorite team, my favorite team. So I have been in Santiago Bernabeu a lot of times and watched them live. And it's so beautiful to see them play under Zidane. I don't want to go in a discussion of what is good or wrong, you know, I also love Tiki Taka to Barcelona, Pep Scordia, I love that tactical play, so I want to recreate, I wanted to recreate Zidane's diamond formation, and this really I have to think I do, I, and I wanted to make it as realistic as possible, forget the game, okay, realistic as possible, I didn't want to win it, I wanted to see things happen. In this system, guys, if you use this tactic, this is one of my proudest tactics I have made because it's very realistic as well. You see some beautiful goals. Beautiful goals. And But the strange thing is something is not realistic here. We keep clean sheets. Real Madrid don't keep clean sheets. We keep clean sheets. So that I have to do something with. I have to let the opponent score some more goals against me, okay? To begin with, you know, I had a hard time, you know, should I use these players here? Should I play these? The players here, and uh, let, let, let's. Let, I'm not using a little bit substitutes here because it's, we have won the series, okay, uh, the league. Let's use how Madrid will do use this, okay? I don't know. Isco in diamond, it's Isco here, okay? Isco goes here when Real Madrid plays the diamond, not the 4 4 2, the diamond, and Asensio comes here. If Asensio don't start here, he will come in here as a substitute, okay? But in 4-4-2, Asensio is the first choice. You play here or sometimes as a striker. Okay, Marcelo. This guy, I had a hard time getting him. I hate when players get injured in preseason and you have to pull him in. Got cross here, always at the left. We got Modric. No, sorry. Uh, Modric is here and uh, Asmenio is here. That's the only thing that is not right according to the system of how Real Madrid play. Uh, Varane. Ramos is always at the left. Uh, Vasquez Carvajal, can, where are you, my friend? And you have seen lately Vasquez plays right back, right? So it, one of the issues I have with this game is that. I think, I personally believe Real Madrid have too little money, okay? When you start the game, they have 50 million pounds to use. And that's strange because Real Madrid have a lot of money in the bank since they didn't buy so many players last year. So, yeah, and, and the winter breaks come, we get some money and when the season is over, we get 70 million pounds. I think this year Real Madrid have about 200 million pounds to buy players, okay? You asked me where is Bale. As I was playing Diamond, I couldn't use Bale. And... One other thing was that uh, uh, one other thing was that uh, Bale gets a lot of injuries, guys, in the game. So I sold him. I sold Bale. I sold Gareth Bale for very little money, fifty million pounds. But his wages is humongous, you know. And I bought him players, you know. I need new left back, I thought, because also Marcelo was injured very early long time injury so I bought in Alex Telles and the fullbacks in this team the thing with the diamond is the fullbacks are wingers they are wingers in the Real Madrid the fullbacks are wingers diamond formation is normally set up for playing counter attack okay but in Madrid you keep the possession okay so you have also that speech of uh, Zidane have you heard about that uh, against Juventus in the in the halftime before in Champions League final between between Juventus and Real Madrid in the final last year? 
watch that one guys but you can see it very well when you're in the stadium guys they are up here almost up here Real Madrid keep the ball they make a dime in here they switch positions a lot and then you have three players normally who switch the ball from side to side that's Modric that's Kroos and that's Ramos so they they get the ball to the right side you know he will stand here and uh, Casemiro will be standing deep here and Modric will come very high up here Isco will then either go through here or try to track more left but still even the ball is on the left side he will stand between those zones so he's gone past the winger of the opponent okay then Real Madrid plays small passes here switch the ball from this side very fast to the other side with a long ball to Marcelo and the thing is before Marcelo gets the ball they all know you can see that in the game it's so cool you can see that uh, he's come on he's standing there you can see Benzema he's smelling that Modric they will stand something like this you know uh, He will be playing here then. like this and you have cross coming at that point that's me it will be here so when the ball is here guys and you got Varane up here to you know up here you can see sometimes Varane goes inside here guys so so high up on the field and make small passes bam bam here you saw that first goal against uh, Juventus at home small ball here this way they use a lot of players high up in the field they force the opponents going down small player switch the ball to marcelo benzema is smelling marcelo is getting the ball so he's, he comes over here because the ball is long so when the long ball comes then isco goes up there of course and when the long ball comes benzema is in the with two on two against one so if marcelo misses the ball benzema is there if marcelo takes down the ball he will run left you know so they will double it as soon as the possible so we switch the ball fast to make one on one at the sides you know and uh, so yeah anyway too much talking about how they really do and that's what we want to create you know we want to have many small passes out there and make it happen make it happen out there okay the thing is we when you want to recreate a, a, a tactic, you have to use a lot of functions here. I know many of you don't like it, but I had to do it. Okay. They play higher tempo. Real Madrid play higher tempo and they play fluid. Maybe very fluid. Everyone is attacking and taking risk in Madrid. Okay. They play control. So they are not gung ho scoring attack. They have a balance there. The defense is higher. It's, it's extremely high, the defense is in Madrid. They play offset right, offset trap. They play. I maybe think even they're playing wide, not fairly wide. Why? I didn't dare to touch that one. Uh, closing guard more. You saw that against Bayern München too. I'm sorry, the first goal against Bayern München. You saw that was what I was talking about but how they switched the ball from side to side, kept the opponents down, and they get scored the goal. The first goal at home. You saw it against the. the against uh, Bayern München. When Bayern München try to play themselves out of defense, they press their heart. But if they can't win the ball high up, they fall deep. That's the, the reason is they don't have that many plans how to win the ball. They don't have many defensive players. When they when they can win the ball here, they fall deep here automatically. It's not something they want to do. That's what's happened. Pressure hard, they can win, they can fall down. That's the same thing Liverpool does. They don't want to, Klopp doesn't want to play defensively with side, but and that's your play, you know, the, the, the same with Pep. So, yeah. Uh, higher up in the field, they use tighter marking because they go hard in, they prevent the short kick. I don't know if they use that because I think, when I think about it, I think they want the player, the team to play out from defense because they can win it higher up. They play out of defense, of course, they retain possession, they keep the ball in the team, they are very good in building up the game. Uh, they work the ball into box from side to side, side to side, and uh, roam from position. Players roam a lot, okay? And we go on individual here. We see I have used Ronaldo as a poacher. He's goal. He's going goals. 
Benzema comes down, he brings up, he, he sets up uh, uh, Ronaldo, and as well as setting up Ronaldo, he tackles hard, he runs from position because this guy, he's he's chasing the ball very well. Benzema really don't have the ball, he's doing a lot of hard work out there, guys. Ronaldo is roaming from position, he's moving into channels. That's what he does, you know. He moves into channels, he roams from place, space to space. Maybe a little bit scared to touch this roams from position. I wouldn't normally do that if I'm playing with a poacher. But I did this with Ronaldo because Ronaldo sometimes goes also wide. I know he wants to score goals, but sometimes he goes wide. His goal as advanced playmaker is in a support duty because, yes, he, but I have touched the dribble more. The thing is, I don't, I want him to. I want him to go down and his mentality to be not like this, like this, but I still want him to do because he he's closer to these players, but when he gets the ball outside you he he tends to dribble sometimes guys cross sits you know cross is not mod if you look at Modric, Modric comes high up at the right side, cross is sitting a little bit more as Modric is passing from this side. Taking one and twos, he's going on the run, on the run, stands outside the edge, you know, wins the ball, and recycles the ball. Cross is mainly at this height. He's standing in this this red point here. He's standing right there in the game, and he's not much higher than Casemiro. The reason I had to use Casemiro at the right is because I need to defend behind the player here. You know, if I use a roaming playmaker here, it would be crazy, guys. So I used it to start with. I had Casemiro here, but we concede a lot of goals from this channel. And but when Real Madrid loses the ball, these three boys they stand at the same height, and he will be in front of them. Okay. But when they play wing, with wingers, that's not the same thing. It's not like when they play four four two. This is a diamond formation of Real Madrid guys. We could use maybe Ramos. I. Uh, Cross, you know, more direct passes, more risky passes. Yes, he's sitting deep, but he, he's taking risky passes. He's switching the ball from side to side, as well as taking some risky passes, okay? Uh, Modric, more risky passes. He's great to hide here, you know, he's high up in the field. He's a roaming playmaker. Yes, he is, because he roams. He attempts to be in the build-up, as well as when the ball comes over the midfield here, he attempts to go in high as a dance playmaker. As a dance playmaker in support, many, many people think, but he's... He's more involved in behind here too, as well as coming up here, sitting outside. He's more, more, he's roaming a lot, Modric, in the game, okay? So that's why I use him as a roaming playmaker. And the thing was, why, I, why haven't this midfielder higher up? Because they sit. It's the same thing, you know, okay, he's defensive midfielder, he's standing here. He comes up as a support midfielder because when he keep the ball, they will move higher up the field. And uh, yeah, and when we don't, when we don't have the ball, this is the formation. This is the formation. We don't have the ball. This is how we stand. So the Real Madrid, if they if they can win the ball high up, they will be sitting deep. The midfield and defense were deep and uh, not far from each other. Marcelo bombing left to left. You know, this is one of the most important players. Is the fullbacks? They are wingers. They are creators. He's marking tighter and he's marking a specific uh, position. The reason is so he's keeping eye on the winger. Because if as no one is taking the fullback, if I don't hit this button here, guys, he will go up and he suddenly push. When the opponents come up, he will suddenly go too high up and the winger will be free. And Ramos have to go stretching out here and you will have a chaos behind them. And the same thing is with Carvajal guy. Mark specific person, but he will not mark specific person, but mark, he won't mark tighter. The reason I mark him tighter is the more because of the Marcelo. Most of the times, when Real Madrid lose the ball, he stands up here. He's very good at the high pressure, but outside here, he's not so good. So if he lose the ball here, Benzema will go on the ball, and Marcelo will mark tight up here. So he won't just stand there, he will mark tight. So you need to mark tight if you want to win the ball high up in the field. So he will not maybe mark tight here, but he will mark tight up here. Okay? But no problem. If you want to mark tight here too, do it. So we don't get the goals we get against Black Bayern Munich scored against Madrid. 
and we run a mark titer and they do that and run was mark titer and maybe you could also flip on uh, tackle harder but uh, he all this is an aggressive player don't touch him too much he does sweeper goalkeeper distribute to center backs Real Madrid likes to build up the game from here and uh, Casminero few risky passes you put him as a defensive midfielder because he's not an amateur man he comes higher up in the field he wins the ball there but he's not also ball winning midfielder roaming around here but few risky passes Casminero if you see him live guys this guy is simple passes and uh, yeah that's it do we do anything with opposition this is how we play against opposition guys you want to see the, the show the positions the pressure hard. we pressure extremely hard defense of the team and push them to the weaker foot because we want to win the ball higher up in the field and Real Madrid as you saw against Bayern München they pressure the goalkeeper very hard okay yeah. so you have the wingers we are closing them down always so we don't get too many crosses on us and forcing up the striker yes because Ramos and Morane are hugging this striker all day long so yeah anyway how did this work guys we won the title in the league the league we won very early guys I want to get 100 points this year maybe then we have to win the last um, three games we lost only two games the goal difference is not that much we, we could score more more goals but we won the games normally 2-0 2-0 I have to also say that this team here, Valencia, defeated us 6 0 once. I didn't understand what happened there. But uh, I've gone back and watched that game 10 times, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I think in the season work well, you know. In Europe, I was a little bit. I, I should have done better. I went out in the semi finals against uh, Napoli here. Defeated them 3 2 at home. We were winning 2-0, I think. No, we were winning. We, we lost a penalty here. Okay. Uh, the thing is that I should have understand it here. Okay. We won 3-0 against Paris. We lost 3-1 away. So maybe I should have moved this one slightly deeper. Uh, if you want to see the goals they scored against us was... Uh, Napoli, I think they scored on. I think it was on. We, 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 but the main thing is not that they scored many goals too. You know, we, we created a too few chances against Napoli. Let's take one of the game goals. I think all three was almost similar here. But the thing is, it's very beautiful to see how we play ball, guys. Crosses and a goal. They hunt the room behind. Uh, they hunt the room behind uh, Marcelo normally, so we could we could have done two things. You know, we could have uh, put cross as deep line to make a defense that game, and uh, move maybe this one to balance. But I wanted to play the Real Real Madrid style. Okay, this was not that much. I didn't change for results that much, you know. I wanted to create the Zidane play, but this was really cool, okay. And one of the problems I had with Real Madrid guys was that uh, the dynamics here, you know, the social group. Everyone is in here. Everyone is in here. What transfer did I do? I sold. Uh, I have loaned out Ashraf. I bring him in next year. I have uh, sold some B players, uh, by Bale, Myro. Can play as a poacher, you know, he's a good poacher. I brought him back because of an injury here, but uh, yeah, we brought in Arthur because you need central midfielders, you know. When I sold the bail, we have to bring in central players. He can be good, he can play in different roles, you know. He can play advanced playmaker, he can play as a Roman playmaker, he can also play as a deep line playmaker. But worst scenario, he can play as a de defensive midfielder. And one thing else, guys. If you don't use Casminero, use a deep playmaker, because Real does that. They tend to do that. Matteo Fernandez I bought mostly because of his pace here, and when I bought him, he, he can play again the Casminero role, and he was very cheap, so I bought him, loaned him to Dortmund. He didn't play enough, so I bought him back again. As you see, he played well. He played well. Seven games, he played three games in the cup. So. 
Yeah, there were a lot of games, so I had to, you know, bring him back in the team. And, uh, yeah, and tell us that, you know, Lotto Martinez, because he can play both as a false nine and poacher. But he will be a very good poacher in time, guys. He scored eight goals, 13 goals in total. So, yeah, he's 20 years old. So, yeah, that was fun. But the game players in the Real Madrid players, Ronaldo was awesome, guys. 31 games, 35 goals, few assists, too few goals in the Champions League, in my opinion. Isco was injured, guys. I didn't know. I don't know how well he is, to be honest with you. But uh, next year we try him from start, and Zeno was good, very good, 16 goals, and uh, that's Minero. Look at his value. 63 million now, and he got even interest. Maybe we should sell him and buy Kante. Huh? Maybe. Okay. Uh, Modric here. As an important player. Uh, cross. Reliable force, guys. A reliable force. And Carvajal, maybe our best player in the build up. 11 assists in the league, 16 assists total, 755. Lucas Vasquez did really also well at the right back. I moved him at the right back, guys. And he had 8 assists, 7 for 7. So, he has, his value is now 52 million. And you have interest from Paris. No point of selling him. I think he will be a better back than Carvajal. So, we have pull out here. Marcelo didn't have that many assists, guys. He was injured. Don't forget that. He was injured a long time. 755 is really good. And uh, 29 years old, do I sell him or not? If you sell one player in Madrid, everyone will be at you. And Ramos will never forgive you. I had a real problem with this guy here. Ah, he's an extremely good player. No? Best central defender, in my opinion, in the game. Uh, Varane will be your... Don't sell this guy. You know, you have 70 good years left in this guy if you are playing long term. And, uh, yeah. Should buy him now. I was testing well, uh, the and Nacho is not that bad, guys. You can sell him for 40 million pounds if you want to in mid season, but he plays well. He can play all over, you know. He can play full back too. So keep him the team. He's a Spanish player, everyone likes him, and it, it doesn't make any problem there. Theo Hernandez was very good, but your full backs will play well, you know. All, you, you, you set them up really well. Uh, not Vasquez, Mato Fernandez, Asensio, I could have done better with him, I could have done better with him. He's still improving, you know, still improving. No, stop improving. <laughs> uh, but, but this is good enough, guys, this is good. Asensio will come on. Uh, what else the other players? Kovacic, one of my favorite players in real life, I used him a lot, 7-10. He can play all over. He's best in this role. But he can play here, he can play here, and he can play here. Jesus Vallejo is one of your players that you need to improve. Because you have to know, can I use him if Ram when Ramos retires? Or do I need a new central defender? And at this point, I think you will be needing another central defender. He can be a good Spanish defender playing with... Number three, but your jumping reach is low, and don't forget something. The opponents lose the ball, as you should drive high pressure, they will just lift the ball. When they lift the ball, you need to jumping reach. So, I don't know. Marcos Lorente, keep him in the team, guys. Keep him in the team. His value is low, his wage is low. I just gave him a new contract. Because the thing is, I found it out, he plays better as a deep line playmaker. When he comes in here, defensive midfield, he can play that. This slow, you know, 10, not much slower than uh, our good friend Casminero. He can play there, you know, he can play. But as a deep line playmaker, he was better. Okay, his technique is not that good. His vision is good, guys. So, some games I used him here. And you need a lot of central players. He's not making any fast. This is not a bad player. His determination, his decision is good. He's keeping the calm out there. He can read the game. His vision is good, his teamwork, his places in some okay, his work rate is hard, tackling is good, his passing is good. Why do you want to sell this guy? 
the Balos, you need to get a lot out of him, you know, and uh, I think we could have used him more last year. 11 games, 21 totally, he's improving rapidly in the winter time, but suddenly he stopped. Uh, technique is good, you know, this, this guy can be, can you make him fast enough? Kovacic will take over from uh, Modric, but will he be the new defensive playmaker in support? That's the question. So I have used him as a roaming playmaker in a while because, yeah, but I don't know. I think I think he will end up here or here. I don't know. We keep on keep on track, no? And but transfers, guys. Um, in the near future, you will also get Vinces junior into the team so the team we have to do right away when he comes into the team is uh, use him I think as a poacher or false nine his pace was a poacher could be perfect you know if he can't do anything with that guys if he cannot make him play another role that is 17 years old you know this is going to be 14 and it's going to be 20 maybe 19 19 Yeah, I think his determination is also very well. His work rate is good. I think false nine will be fitting very well. So, yeah, he will go into straight in the first team. We will play him. And you got Ruben Thomas. He's leading the club. Of his groundsman. He's Raul Di Thomas. No, he's an okay player. But you have also in your. I put him here. Uh, James, maybe he will be gone. Lucas Silva. He can come back in the team. I personally believe Lucas Silva can play good as a deep line playmaker in support for uh, Cross, if not as a defensive midfielder in the role of Casminiro. I'm not saying sell Casminiro, but he's a faster player, guys. He's a faster player. His stamina is bad. His wage is so low. Keep him. I would keep him. No point of going buying new stars when you have good stars. Ashraf is injured, so I brought him back from the loan. Just to stop, we will loan him away one more season and then we take a decision if we want to keep him or sell him. He plays well in Real Betis, I think. But Lucas Vasquez, Carvajal is playing very good. He's not near that uh, level. My role, my role may be in the team as a poacher, but we have Lucas Martinez in that role as well. So, what I want from him is a very good season outside Madrid. He scored two few goals here. If he gets one good season, I can sell him to a higher price. But anyway, I'm not sure about him. And this is the daily problem you have with Madrid, you know. This is how it is. You got Valentin that's a coming up uh, from a junior ranks. We bought him as a free transfer, Jose Ramon. Uh, yeah, so we're going to keep an eye on these two guys. Keep them to the 17, 18 years old. 18 years old, then we can loan them away. Uh, do we have other players? Fabio Contrao will come back. And I will sell him because, yes, he have the ability to play the role we want him to play, but he's too slow. And we got so many good left defenders. So it's either Contrao or other Terros that we have bought. Philip Leinhardt will be away. <laughs> he's not good enough, guys. Don't use your time on him. And B team, you also got players on the one that uh, will come back. Mink Peters was a lot of talk about him when he came to Madrid, but uh, really nothing has happened. And I think he will be gone. Uh, Abner, I personally think, can be something. You can make something out of Abner. <laughs> and he was in Portugal, played a little bit good. His defensive part is not good at all, but he gives you something offensively, and he's 1.9. As third left back, maybe, maybe. Okay. And uh, he's gone anyway. Famous we will sell. He's good. Oh, they go. No, you have you have these four words. You can start with him. I don't think he will take. You know, and he will be sold. Even though he has a huge contract, he will be gone. And uh, you have Sergio Diaz. Coming in, okay. Sergio Diaz, false nine in the future, maybe, but then you have to improve, okay. As a poacher, I 
I think I will do training as a poacher when he comes back. Let's see, the fiction is low, but his off the ball is good. He lacks a lot of. In Madrid, off the ball is. Real, I mean, a rare thing to see. I sent to his goal, have 10, I think, or 12 in uh, off the ball. He was in a low ball, he didn't play any game. Don't like that. Okay. Odegor. If you come here to be advanced playmaker and you have Sabellos already there and you have Isco, you have Asensio, so let's say okay, we don't use Kovacic that role. But if he comes in Madrid to play next season, he will only play cup games, simple league games. And I see, in a way, he got the dribbling, you know, he got the flair, teamwork, but is he a real Madrid quality player? You have to see his potential later on, guys. I personally would loan him away one more season. Played well, you know. Uh, in real life, he had a good season in this year too. Valverde. I think he's the biggest guy. Uh, that's the guy everyone's talking about in Madrid. Uh, that of the players that on loan this year. In the game, he had a good season, 18 games. Okay, you know, but he's not Madrid. Caliber next year and he's 20 years old. I think if you're gonna use him in time in Madrid, you have to use him as a off the ball. So that can save a lot. You know, teamwork, vision, not these, these things have to go up, especially vision. Okay, acceleration, you need fast players, so that's good. Decision have to go up. So this will go maybe to 14, 15. This will go up. Sometimes the players. I know you you have to give them play time. In Madrid you can give them play time, you saw that. But then how many players can I give a play time to? My thoughts for next season is to sell Modric, pick and then we we'll free a rule. The role mod the role Kovacic has here will be free as a substitute role over here. So maybe he can come in because yes he's not good enough here, but as long as he have the potential, he will play well. They will play well. Okay? So Give him games in our own team because I think they tend to be better when they are in our, in our own team. Play maybe five games less, but when you are with your own team, they play better. Okay, guys, this is Real Madrid. It's a hard team to coach, to be honest with you, because expectations are really high. And at the same time, guys, be wary of who you sell and don't sell. As soon as you sell one player here, you got Ramos knocking on your door. And he's extremely angry, and it's impossible to make him happy again. Uh, you know, when you have to, when you have conversations with him, he's locked. Anything you say to him, anyway, he's against you. Okay, Ronaldo, when he performs well, give him, you know, you know, say you are doing a good job, clap on the shoulder. He loves that, and then he will like you. He will defend you in all aspects of the game, <laughs> and uh, he will stand beside you because in the start he tended to go with Ramos, but I was keep giving him a lot of, you know, I I just was, you know, Ronaldo, you are the boss, you are the king, you play well. As you can see, Ronaldo came here, and then you had something here between them. He started to like me, I'm one of his favorite personals. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's liking me. So yeah, build up influence for players. Sabellos is coming up here, Lorente is here, Marcus Lorente is also coming here. All these players are down here, so we need to f lift these two guys too as well. Uh, yeah, it's a really exciting team too. You know, I'll, the troubles here is like real life. You know, do like sit down, keep the players happy. Player football, they love to see the fans, and you like it. You know, this was a cool team to coach. Hard but cool. Good luck, guys, and welcome back.